Howdy folks, my name is Darren from RC Scale Models and today we have a brand new kit from Airfix a brand new tooled 148 scale De Havilland Chipmunk there is a 170 second Chipmunk by Airfix but it's not very good as I say this is 148 scale um, if you're using the Air Cadets you will remember this aircraft you would have been uh, probably flown or been up in it a friend of mine, he was in the uh, Air Force and he's, he remembers this aircraft very well and he says it was a great little plane. Um, let's take a look what we get inside this kit. It's a typical uh, Airfix. It's quite a small box. It's not a very big plane, even in 148. Kit number A04105. One flying hour. We get four schemes. We have the uh, Flying School uh, 2020. Uh, we have another Flying School at Yeoverton 2009. Hampshire Flying School 1949. There's another Hampshire in the camouflage. And um, Army Air, Air, Air Corps, Air, Air Army Air. Corps Army uh, 1968 so it's a, it's a normal airfix box oh one thing I do know is the cardograph decals so you know it's going to be a good they do uh, all their decals are done by cardograph now airfix standard Chuck it in one bag, never a fan of because it get, gets parts get broken. We have the markings, pretty cool. Um, one aircraft at the top, and then we got another one, and another one, and stencil data underneath. You will use two of these for the camouflage. And the other four for the rest of the aircraft. But if you like other schemes, there is plenty of schemes out there. There's a uh, black one out there. There's grey ones. There's all different colours. Even a yellow one I've seen. Um, so yeah, plenty of choices. But they give you four choices and probably four most famous ones out the box straight out the back, which is good. Airfix instructions, pretty standard. So, we have some history, warning symbols are standard from Airfix, and now we have uh, one of the seats, two halves and then a cushion. The cushion does have moulded in seat belts, but if you're going to replace the seat belts with photo etch or whatever, you're going to have to do some sanding. There is some pilots. Which is optional, and so put your cushion in. This is the underside of the uh, cockpit floor. We have some um, compasses by the looks of things, the flight stick. Obviously, you've got to build two of these seats going in. Uh, inside of the fuselage, which is pretty much molded as one large piece. Interior green, I imagine. Um, check the references, I'm not 100% sure what uh, 85 is. You'll have to have a look. Paint the inside, and then you can put the uh, cockpit piece in. A uh, couple of detail parts, so these are probably levers. We have the uh, plug at the back of the aircraft, sandwiching it all together, pretty standard stuff. Bulkhead, fuel tank that can go in cockpit uh, again, which is the uh, roof, um, instrument panel. We have these uh, pieces here for the cowling to be opened. So it states here, note, if building this model with the engine stand cowlings open, uh, part A6 and A7 is in step reference to step 17B below and step 49 and page 11, miss out step 29 on page 7. So, 
again if you're having the cowlings open so you can see the engine because there is an engine built in this kit you can use these for engine cowling but if you're having it closed you don't need them this is cowling closed this is cowling open instrument panel again this is the second one for the uh, other crew member at the back lower wing section going in it slots in at the front and then clips in at the back hopefully upper wing sections it's stating to clip underneath and it should lay nicely hopefully flaps I don't think there's any degree of uh, angle or posable this is the back of the aircraft lower and upper wings it slides in hopefully tail looks like there's two types of tail uh, we have two structural sp spars here and we have the flaps again it doesn't look like there's any degree of angle landing gear is a fixed wing aircraft these ones here are shorter for having the aircraft on, on the ground these ones are slightly longer if you're having it in display or in flight off the ground once they have been put in the tail dragger is standard two bladed propeller nose cone and that's all done um, Yeah, this is the closed engine option. This is uh, pitot tubes and stuff. We have some more pitot tubes and aerials at the back. Now, this is the option if you're having the cowling open. These are the two cowling op open options, which will look like this. Like a uh, weird shape. I've missed a step because I didn't show you the engine. My mistake. Okay, this is the instructions. We do have some history on the aircraft. Uh, if you wish to read it, it was a video in several languages. Standard airfix instructions. They're new style. They've been around for a little while now. We have the red and grey segments. Red is there part that you go previously done so grey is what you're working on and red is what you've previously done so it's easy to draw your eye to it so working on the seat two two of those cushion and it built up like this cockpit floor drew a couple of holes out to put in your compasses by the looks of things flight sticks your seats going in two halves of the fuselage there's a couple of drill holes to put to do they do tell you it's one millimeter which is nice some filing and sanding here interior color i was imagine it's the interior green if not check the references i'm not sure what number 85 is because i don't use uh, humble paints i don't like them uh cockpit floor and cockpit section going in making sure it's all, all square and level we've got some uh levers of some sort we have the plug at the back sandwiching it all together bulkhead fuel tank that can go in we have the uh, front nose or chin with the uh, pilot's instrument uh, section it does have a decal this section here is to do with um uh cowlings open if you are doing the cowling opens um note if the build this model with the engine stands cowling open uh, part six a6 a7 in step reference to step 17 b below and step 49 on page 11 miss out step 29 on page 7 so basically if you're having your engine open build this if you're having it closed just carry on this is the front uh, nose piece which is the cowling closed open this is the other cockpit instrument binnacle which sits at the back here engine detail two halves a pin for the propeller 
it was like um, this looks like the manifold section and exhaust maybe part of the engine again not sure, I'm not sure what this is we have the uh, strengthening arms and uh, engine mounts the green bits are parts that you need to remove because it's excess screw putting in new engine cowling chin cowling front nose we, uh, actually this is the lower and the front nose cowling closed option but again if you're having it open skip this skip this section and move on wing spot whip the lower wing wing spar a little bit of clear The uh, lower wing slots in at the front and clips in at the back, hopefully. Upper wing sections slots in underneath, clips in hopefully and lays down nicely. Flaps, it's not poseable but they just clip in. Rear tail, two, two halves and the lower, slots in at the back. There is two type of rudder, can't see what the difference is but it probably is. This is for A, C, D option, and this is for the B marking option. Um, we have some strengthening spars going in, and then the uh, more, more flaps. Landing gear segments. This is shorter landing gear for having the aircraft on the ground. These ones are slightly longer for being in flight, because they do have like a dampening suspension type. It is a fixed landing gear. Wheels going in, tail dragger, two bladed propeller, nose cone, pretty standard. Um, pitot tubes and lumps and bumps. We have another pitot tube at the back here. This is for D version only. This is another one for D version only at the back. Cowling open. Again, this is when building this model with the engine stand cowling open. This part below reference to step 16 and 17b is on page 5 so you have to go back again slightly which are these pins basically what they're talking about engine cowling open once it's built and you've got them level they look like Lamborghini doors type shape they they just lift up canopy is a little bit tricky the canopy doesn't mold as one piece you have to build your canopy in several parts you've got the front canopy piece and you've got like this piece inside I don't know what that's for Probably for training purposes. This section here is a jig to build your canopy. So you put your two side pieces of glass, rest them on, and the top piece hopefully clips in on the top. And then you just run a small bead of glue along the leading edge. It should hold it all in place. Hopefully, this works. If you get this wrong, it's going to be a nightmare to get a horrible fit. So take your time, test fit, test fit, test fit. I can't say it enough. Pilots going in is an optional, you get your cheesy pilots for airfix. Canopy open or closed option, which is a nice touch. And now we have your first markings. First marking option, iconic aircraft. I've seen this at air shows. Um, I've, this has been restored version, I believe. Um, 2020. Uh, the colour is aircraft uh, grey base um, and then it's the leading edge is all red. Um, if you're using Tamiya paint I should imagine FX7 red, standard red would probably work and it would probably be aircraft grey would probably be something like natural grey maybe probably closest to it uh, propeller and the uh, front uh, nose in black is for glare and we do have the top of the aircraft the spine and stuff is in white this one here I've seen this one as well before in 1945 I think this is a, a museum now if I'm not mistaken um, this one was at Hampshire 1949 trainer 
this was in silver with the leading sections in yellow you have to paint these sections on again you've got the black nose you have this one here the Overton training aircraft 2009 this one again is the aircraft grey and these segments looks like orange in the hair but it's actually a red um, and then we have a white tail and there's one more scheme which is the camouflage which is Hampshire again England 1968 it's a camouflage version this looks okay um, they're asking for dark earth and dark green so it'll probably be the same colours as the uh, Spitfires and stuff typical uh, Air Force colours um, camouflage top and bottom so that's it for instructions another quick look at the decals Again, nicely done, cardograph decals, going to have no problems. As for the kit itself, we have one clear. And we have several sprues. So first sprue, we will start with wings. Nice uh, detail. It is raised, um, but I think that's probably the only way the FX is going to get their detail. Lower wing section, nicely done. There's those pieces for the uh, opening for the engine cowling. Jack the pins on the inside, never can see them. Nicely done. This section here is everything else cockpit floor. Engine block, stand, firewall, there's a uh, jig, and two types of tail. So you think how small this aircraft is in 148, 170 second is even smaller. 170 second is, is tiny and it's just crap. So here's the uh, rudders, flaps, exhaust, wing spar. Inside the cockpit floor, there's the two bladed propeller. I thought my bladed propeller had a chunk out of it then, but it wasn't. It's just the way it's moulded. There's those flaps. Engine block. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's a gypsy engine, I think it's called, something like that. Front nose. Is part of your seat assembly. There's should be another seat somewhere down here. Bulkhead cushions. See, it's got molded in seat belts. There's that rear piece for the aircraft, part of the engine. Here's the uh, mounting brackets for the engine. Here's the uh, jig for the uh, canopy. There's another piece. There's those strengthening arms. Landing gear, long and short sections, instrument binnacles, there is decals for those, tail dragger, and fuel tank. Uh, do this kit straight out of the box, should be no problems. There's no need to do any aftermarket, I can't see the point of it, it's such a small iconic aircraft anyway. This uh, sprue is your main wing spars, two pilots, we have flaps cowlins 
so here's the main body again it's um, 11 centimeters long very small airplane here's the detail again it's got raised bolts uh, and rivets uh, recess panel lines so it's a mixture Here's the chin, there's another flap, two generic pilots, I'd only stick one in, I probably wouldn't stick both of them in, if I, if I was going to use them, I don't know. Nose, cowlins, here's the uh, rear wing. Toe tubes, and there's another piece for the uh, center piece. And the airfix is clear. So, here's the clear parts flat glass. Going to be no problems. So you pretty much can see through it, even if I come further out, it doesn't distort overly much. There's a little bit of distortion on the edge. Uh, this curve piece is going to be quite distorted because it's a complex curve. But overall, I think it's pretty good clear. So there you are my friends, there's another kit from Airfix, it's their brand new 148 scale De Havilland Chipmunk T10. Like, comment, subscribe and I'll catch you next time.